Hey everybody, this is Steve Moore, owner of Runmore, this fabulous brick and mortar running shop located in Westminster, Maryland. Uh, today we'll be talking about the new Ultra Superior 6. So this shoe is coming out in May-ish of 2023. This is Ultra's most sort of low profile, low stack height, most nimbly bimbly trail shoe out there. And really, if you kind of throw out the solstice, it's their lowest stack height running shoe that they carry. You know, um, this shoe comes in with 21 millimeters of stack height. If you compare that to like the lowest stack height of the true running shoes, which would be the Escalante, that one's 24 millimeters. So this is that shoe if somebody's looking for the most like feel the ground, I feel very agile and mobile and nimbile and all that good stuff when you're out on the trail. This is gonna be your friend. And uh, you know, like on a personal level, like when I when I started getting into more trail running, this was one of my first real like trail running shoes because for, you know, for so long, depending on where you live and, and the type of training you're doing, like you might not be a big trail runner. And so when I first started doing more trail running, the Ultra Superior, like the OG was, was one of the first ones that I really was putting a lot of miles in and I loved it. And if you guys have been with the Superior for a while, for a, a low profile, low stack height, all that kind of stuff, that shoe had a lot going on. If you remember, it had like an additional piece of rubber on the heel to give a little bit of extra stability for downhill running. And it had a couple other little features with it that for a low profile shoe, it seemed like a kind of a bulky shoe. So over the years, you've seen this shoe get trimmed down and trimmed down and trimmed down to where it's at now which is great because if you are looking for that type of shoe, you don't want a whole lot of extra nonsense on the shoe. So this is like kind of a redesigned, reimagined shoe from where it used to be in very positive ways. There are some pretty big changes on this shoe compared to the old ones though, so let's kind of dive right into it. Um, one of the things that has stayed the same though is the fit. This is a standard fit shoe. So if you're somebody who has are following Ultra and you know sort of their categories of widths, um, they have stuff that's a slim fit and a standard fit and an original fit and there's some shoes that have wide options, but this guy is right smack in the middle in a standard fit. So if you are somebody who needs just a little bit more, just keep that in mind. But I, quite, I have to say, um, we actually had a whole video of breaking down the different widths in the shoes in each category. This shoe to me has always kind of held the line right between a standard and an original. I find this shoe actually fits wider than a lot of other shoes in that standard fit. So for me, I actually am quite comfortable in this shoe and there are shoes in that category where I don't feel as quite comfortable. Um, so that has kind of stayed the same. The stone guard that used to be removable in, in most of the other superiors um, is gone. And it used to be that you would come in the box and if you really wanted to, you can lift up the removable insole, put that guy underneath it and put it on top. And it added just a little bit of extra protection if you were going somewhere and they're super technical or super sharp, just to give you a little bit more protection underfoot. That is gone. It's not integrated, it's not in the box, it is just gone. So keep that in mind, uh, which makes this just a pinch softer. And just, again, it, it was it was fine. I was totally on board with it. It's just one more complicated thing. I, I did like the ability to just kind of show somebody what that looked like. Um, but for the majority of people, when they'd come in the shoe, the shop, and we'd fit them and they'd get us appear, we would say, just throw it in and forget about it. Put it underneath there, be done with it. So it is now just done with it in general. So that's gone. They've changed the outsole. While it is still the same max track outsole as we saw in the last Superior, it's definitely grippier just kind of popping around in it. You can feel you have just a little bit better traction in this compared to the old one. So that's a nice little update. They tried to reimagine that and give it just a little bit more because while we've taken away some of the other protection in the shoe, it still feels nice and nimbly. Um, you know, a friend of mine made, had, had a great line about the Superior and I'm totally gonna steal it. So if you hear this, it came from me first. He said, you know, the Superior to me is like, like a BMX, like a mountain bike for running. You know, you can do a little bit of everything. It's great. You can kind of go through any terrains in it. And that's how I've always felt with this. But because, for, at least for me personally, it being such a low profile 21 millimeter shoe, this isn't something I'm gonna go and do an ultra in. This isn't something if I'm gonna go do a three hour long trail run out here, um, I'm probably not gonna pull this. But if I'm gonna go do like an hour or less on the trail and maybe pick up the tempo, that's exactly where this shoe feels to me. Like I like to picture myself in my head if I'm going for a run and I'm like jumping over logs and doing all that kind of fun traily stuff that if you're watching videos out there and you see those guys doing those cool crazy running kind of stuffs in the trail, this is that shoe that you want because it's not bulky at all. Obviously it's got that foot shaped toe box, but it doesn't feel like there's a ton there. It really feels like just an extension of your foot, which is really what you're kind of looking for for that shoe. Um, it's that nice nimbly pimbly shoe and it gives you that nice, 
ability to do a ton of different stuff into it. So great shoe for that kind of shorter, faster stuff. I know there are people that will use this for longer runs, so I know people are gonna kill me in the comments and say, well, I ran 100 miles in it. Great, that's fantastic. But for the average person that comes in here, if they're looking for that low profile shoe, if they're looking for sort of that Lone Peak Junior, and that's sort of what I categorize this as, is like a, a baby Lone Peak, um, this is a great option for you. Uh, it, it is still a, the only one in that ultra family that has that burrito tongue where it's totally sewn in on one side. So it kind of just gives your foot a little bit more hugging in the top and keeps some of that riffraff from getting in your shoe if you're going somewhere that's got a lot of mud and yuck and guck and all that kind of stuff. It tries to keep it out of your shoe by being burritoed in that way. Um, so it's been a nice fun update. Uh, I think if you've been a fan of the Superior, this will be a nice update for you. Uh, I think you'll be excited about this shoe at least. I hope that you are. And again, this is coming out in May-ish 2023. Uh, if you wanted to purchase this fine shoe, feel free to go on over to our website. We'll have a link down below. If you enter promo code RUNMORE, just one word, you'll save 10% on this shoe or any other new shoe that we have on our site. And if you have any questions on this shoe or really any ultra shoes in general, we find ourselves to be pretty sharp in the world on ultra stuff. So feel free to leave it down below. We'll try to get back to you as soon as we can. And if you found this video informative, do me a solid and give us a like and subscribe. It really helps us out there. And uh, hey, happy running, happy trail running, all that good stuff. And I uh, hope to see you around town.